Let's get to it. Okay, YouTube, what is going on? It's Mesa Fail back at it with some division. Guys, I want to make a kind of life after 30 video and kind of go through the basics of what to do and build your character for uh, what you want, okay? Because uh, when you look up at the top there, you see DPS, you see health, and you see skill power, okay? Now, uh, those are broken off into right below where it says 91,000, 75,000, 15,000. You see firearms, stamina, and electronics. Those three categories can be modded by all of your things here in your armor, okay? And including weapons for that, uh, for that matter. So let's go into armor, okay? Now, you don't always want to go with the piece of armor that's the best, okay? Because you're seeing here, under my mask here, I have two high ends that I'm not using right now. Why am I using this one? It's only 316. Don't go by the numbers. 319, 341, doesn't make it better, okay? For what I want right now, where I have a lot of health, my DPS is not so great, skill power is also not so great, I'm more of a bullet sponge, okay? But what we want to look at is as you move up and down, you see how my health goes up to 88, health goes up to 88, let's see, health goes up to 87, but then my DPS drops down. See, it's this fine line between uh, what you want for DPS and what you want for health. If you look to the right, the high ends always have a perk to them, right? So this strike mask has tenacious, increased damage by 9% for 10 seconds when using a med kit. Here we got refreshed. All healing is improved by 30% when in the last health segment, okay? And you can see also on the right hand uh, on the right hand side, plus 109 for firearms, plus 426 for uh, for stamina. So this is where you really got to get in and customize. Do you want to make yourself a tank and have lots of health and not so great DPS, or do you want to have it where you have an all DPS and not so much health? Uh, for yesterday and the day before, I was all DPS. I had like 110,000. My health was only like 50,000. And I just felt so squishy. Now that my health is bumped up to 75, I feel a little more tankish. Not so much there. The ideal situation for me, trying to get my DPS and health up over 100,000. Skill power, I'm not so much worried about just right yet. So, again, when you're going into your gear here, don't only really look at the numbers. Look at what they're doing to all your stats here, okay? You can see here I got a bunch of holsters that boost up that primary DPS and even skill power, right? But this will drop my health down a little bit. But you know what? This might be something I want to use. See, right now, I've got my gear load out so that my scavenging is really high. See, it says 176. Scavenging means I have more chances to find loot, I think. I don't think it means better drops. It just means more chances of enemies dropping things. And I don't know what percentage or how much it does. All I know is that I, I started seeing a lot more drops once I got it over 100%. So right now, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping my build like this, so I get a lot of scavenging perks. However, when we go into the challenge mode, I'm more than likely going to want to change all this stuff out and move things around because I might want to change, I might want to have my DPS up over 110,000 and not worry as much as my health. You know, we've been doing challenge mode and my DPS was over 110,000 and my health was only 50 and I was fine. I mean, I died a bunch of times, but we would just keep reviving each other. But as long as my DPS was high, I was doing a lot of damage, okay? So as you know, like from Destiny, if you're a Destiny follower, uh, it goes green, then blue, then purple, and then yellow. So yellow is high end, purple is superior another thing too is you have what's called the modifications okay these modifications also adjust your stamina your electronics and your firearms okay see here like this one here gives a plus 101 to my electronics this mod here gives plus 92 to my firearms those fit into slots okay let me show you right here this strike mask here has two empty slots if i go down to the bottom here it says empty slot empty slot that's how i'm getting my scavenging up so high because like on this mask right here I put in the slot there, plus 119 uh, electronics, a plus 9 scavenging. Same thing I believe in my backpack here. If you look into that, that backpack, let me look down here. Yeah, plus another 9% scavenging. So right now what I'm trying to do is just get my scavenging up as high as I can. But then once we go into challenge mode, I'm going to be switching all this gear up to give me a little more DPS and not so much health. I mean, I'm fine with 50 to 60,000 health as long as I have a little bit more DPS. Now, when it comes to weapons, um, what you want to do is you have a whole bunch of attachments and you want to really pick and choose carefully what you put on there. So let's go take a look at grips here. Now I have a high-end grip here. That doesn't necessarily make it better than the other grips, okay? As I scroll through and look at the stats and see right here, this hand stop FDE, look, it boosts my DPS from 91,000 to 97,000. So I might want to put that on tonight and it also bumps up my accuracy. So you know what, we're going to put that on right now. I might actually just stick that angled grip on my uh, vector. Same thing with magazine, you'd be surprised. Look, if I put this magazine on, my DPS drops a little bit. Magazine size, too. Uh, if I go up to here, 
This extended magazine actually puts my DPS up to 104. So you know what? We're going to take that off the vector. I'm going to put that on right there. Uh, same thing with muzzles. Let's take a look at muzzles here. What do I got here? So if I scroll through, these are all dropping. So anything I got in here is going to drop my DPS. So I'm going to keep the muzzle I have on there. Okay, same thing with these sights also. You want to take a look at what it does to your accuracy, range, stability. I'm not too worried about range right now. It's really accuracy and stability is what I'm looking for on all of my types of weapons. Okay, let's briefly talk about abilities here. You could toggle these to L1 or R1 on PS4, or if you press L1 and R1 at the same time, you can get one of these three supers. I like to use Tactical Link, which means when you pop this, you're basically turning God mode, okay? Increase damage and critical hit chance to the user and nearby alleys. Uh, Survivor Link is really, really good because if you need to get out of an area really bad, especially in the dark zone, this is going to give you increased damage resistance and speed for the user in nearby alleys. Then on L1 and R1, you could toggle any one of these abilities, okay? Now, when you put one on, so I have this one set for L1, you can also go in and mod them, okay? So for this particular uh, mod for my pulse, I like to do bonus damage, so I use Tactical Scanner. Damage is increased when attacking any hostile targets identified by Pulse Scan. They're very, very useful for pointing out enemies, especially when it gets dark and snowy out. Uh, the Support Station is another one that I use a lot when we're doing Challenge or Hard Mode, not so much in the Dark Zone. Uh, and you can choose different mods, like this one here. Uh, not only do they heal, they can regain ammo. So if you're in a bad situation, can't get to the next restock box, use that. Uh, I was using last night in uh, challenge mode and hard modes. Uh, this removes status effects. So from the various grenades they're throwing at you and your allies, it's going to help with that. Another really, really good one is the smart cover, okay? Now, I've got it set to trapper in my modifications right here, okay? Where, here we go right here. Hostile targets using reinforced cover deal less damage while taking increased damage. And this stacks, okay? So you have two to three people putting smart covers down. You're just going to do a boatload of damage to the enemies while taking less damage. Uh, another really fun one, too, is the Seeker Mines. I like using these. And for the mods, I like to go with Incendiaries because it sets them on fire. Or I like using the last one here, which splits them off into smaller mines that seek out multiple targets. Uh, I do use the turret sometimes, not very often. Uh, I use the uh, first aid. This is good for Dark Zone if you're by yourself, okay? Uh, you have a certain amount of med kits on you for a quick heal. But uh, if you're in a bad situation and need to get some health back, you can pop that and you get yourself um, your health back. Haven't really messed around with the sticky bomb or nor the ballistic shields. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comment section what other type of division videos you want to see. I love playing this game. I love covering Destiny and a division, and I'm just making division videos for fun. Uh, one thing that's going to be coming up soon is my crafting of my God Roll AK because I got amazing perks. I got balanced. I got deadly, and it's got capable on it. But you could see, uh, and I probably should have pointed this out before, you could see those two talents are locked because my firearms is not up enough. See, it says firearms. I need at least 1,889. Right now, I'm only rocking 1,360. But that's going to be fine later when we go into challenge mode. I'm going to be choosing armor that's going to bump up my firearm stat, okay? Once uh, my firearms goes up, those two perks, those special perks, will be unlocked. You can see right here on my pistol, one of these perks is unlocked. And let's take a look. Harmful. Each hit has a 12.5% uh, chance to apply the bleeding status effect to target. And the reason why it's up there is because it just has a minimum requirement of 1300 for firearms. But uh, restored, killing a target with this weapon removes all negative status effects. I would need to get my skill power, my electronics, up over 1700, which I am not really caring about right now. So, anyway, Babble Mode to gauge. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Z Twitter at MaceTron. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.